So this is the Ethernet cable I've ran already. Now this cable here goes through this hole. And there is another one that goes over there. So from here, we went through this hole up here. There was originally a hole here. Through another hole here. <laughs> through another hole here. And it comes down the wall and behind here. And it goes down through the wall. Comes out in this corner. Then it goes down under the um, joist, which is like there, under the joist. Then it comes into here, which is below where we was. And then it comes down. behind this wall and they come out in this little panel here which is next to my fibre equipment okay so it's arrived from eBay I've just took the box off over there and uh, let's take it out of the package in this is the bad thing about buying second hand off eBay as you can see it's a bit hard to see in the camera but it's quite dirty Okay, that's better. I've given it a little bit of a clean and um, it's not bad considering it was half the price on eBay. So we're going to take this. And we're going to put it up here. Okay, so I've tidied up the hole a little bit. What I've done here is I cut a hole out of some plasterboard and then cut another hole in the middle of it and then I've um, fill, filled it in because basically I didn't want the, um, the hole that was behind the plate to be uh, that big so um, I've done a quick fill, uh, a quick sand, another fill, and then some paint. It doesn't have to be too good because uh, it's going to be hidden anyway. So. So these are the fittings that I'm using, these little plasterboard um, plugs. Now I'm not going to put massive plugs in there because it's not heavy and also um, I want it to be easily fixed if we're going to take it down in the future. Okay, so I've got the four plugs in. I'm going to go ahead and put the actual plate on. So you want to take the Ethernet cable and we want to plug it into the one that says main. That one there. Ooh. I may have encountered a problem. Okay, so this is why you should think twice, cut once. So now I've got these two holes that I need to uh, fill in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this uh, cable in now.
There we are, so that's how the unit looks connected. I'm going to have to fill these two holes behind. That's uh, it successfully installed. I've still got to power it up yet, so I can see what it looks like in the room. Okay, so I've downloaded the uh, Unify app and um, it's automatically picked up the access point straight away. So as we can see, it's this one here. And if we click into that, it will ask for the, set, uh, the password, but I think we can just skip that for now. Now if we scroll down, we can change some of the settings. So it says it's connected and the light is on on the unit. Okay, so let's try and change some settings and see what happens. Let's try to change the name to, I don't know, Dan's Cave. Let's put a password on there as password one. And let's also um, apply the same to the 5G. Let's click apply settings. Settings applied. Let's see if anything is happening on the device. So the unit looks like it's powered off at the moment. Probably doing a restart since I've changed the settings so I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes and wait for this to come back online okay so there's no light on the device at the moment but I do have the ability to connect to it with my available networks so let's go ahead and try and connect Connected. So I'm just going to run a speed test. There we are. So a quick speed test over the wireless and it looks like we're getting pretty decent speeds as well. I am on fibre to the premises so that's why we're seeing a, a download speed of 143 meg. Okay so I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to check the speed quickly of the Wi-Fi, is it, sorry the range of the Wi-Fi and just double check that, that the signal strength is good. So from this graph what we can see is uh, Dan's cave, that's the access point. Um, and then the next one down, which is the BT Home Hub, is actually my Netgear router. I've just, just called it something else. And then we can see the next couple over are going to be the, the neighbours one. So um, as you can see, this access point is giving me the best signal. Yeah, back up and see if anything else comes up. Yeah, so the access point is back online now. We've got the username and password and we've got my S9 connected. And we can also see the speeds running through the device. We've got 345 meg download, 46 meg upload connection speed between the access point and, the, uh, and my phone. So pretty good. So there we are, that's how you install a wireless access point and hopefully this video has been helpful and you can um, do it yourself. Brilliant, have a good day.